G'day, welcome back. I'd especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content of my channel. If you missed the last episode, the, uh, the, the start of fitting up the, uh, the new XY table of the mill, there's a link up there now, you can watch that first and come back and watch this one. Now, uh, if you missed the community post from last week and you've been following along with my uh, health scare, the big chunks you took out of my leg showed no signs of a residual melanoma, so uh, I'm in the clear there. And that's a real relief because it's a major killer back home in Australia. Now, uh, she took half the stitches out a week ago and I've just been in the hospital this morning to get the other half taken out. And she's given me the nod to uh, get on with whatever I want to do. So uh, in the meantime, while I've been, been uh, sitting around here in my fat bum gut, getting bored senseless, uh, the bits I was waiting on have arrived, so follow me over to the mill and we'll get started on that. Alrighty, so that piece of brass finally got here uh, a week after I ordered it, thanks to all those public holidays and everything, and the slack-ass delivery company. I wanted a piece of three quarter by quarter, but they didn't have that. But what they did have was inch and a half by quarter, so I just bought a piece of that and I'm going to have to slit it in half. The throat on my bandsaw is not deep enough to cut 150 millimetres, because that's a 300 millimetre piece. It's a little over excellent, so it's not deep enough to cut up into here, so I'm just going to try and slit it halfway up with the uh, slitting saw, and then once I've slid it halfway, I'll loosen it off, slide it across and finish slitting it or flip it around or whatever. Alrighty, I was trying to dampen the sound, it was actually pretty noisy. Alrighty, so that's that. Actually that's not a bad finish on there, so I don't think I'll bother uh, machining that. I'll just clean it up a little bit and take the burrs off it with a file. Now one of them I've got to shorten down to 200 mil, the other's 300, I think we've got about a millimetre to take off the ends. But I won't bore you with cleaning that up. Alrighty, so I've uh, spent a fair bit of time stuffing around today, uh, fitting this up. Uh, this is a new one I bought, I've got to save myself a bit of money. Uh, I ordered a 550 millimetre one and I forgot that they're so much longer than, than you know, five. That's I'd cut 200 mil off it, could have ordered a a uh, probably a five or six hundred mil one saved a bit of money anyway uh, i've mounted this one back to front of the way i had the last one mounted last one uh, this was mounted uh, onto the table so it moved backwards and forwards and, and the rail stayed stationary uh, now this is stationary and the rail will move backwards and forwards i want to uh, i had this set up on the other one covering all that up i've just been down the road to the little place i buy well, I usually get for free from a place that makes aluminium windows and doors and stuff, but they weren't open. I want to try and just get a little piece of angle that I can uh, slip in behind here at each end and just hang it over the top, keep the rubbish off the rail. Uh, I'll move the camera and I'll show you. I'm going to have to think, have have a long hard think about how I'm going to mount the Y axis, uh, and I'll show you why in a sec. Just while I move this camera. Alrighty, at the moment um, I have the rail mounted on the top of here, top front and back and the reader is mounted to the uh to this carrier here and it moves backwards and forwards the reader does but that base is as pretty much almost as wide as this whole area here so i can't mount it on top of that like like this one is so i'm probably going to have to mount the rails onto the sides here and it's going to be awfully hard to get at that and uh try and drill a hole in it i might have to make a bracket up that wraps down so i can fix it from underneath what a hassle but i'm not going to be able to do anything with that until i get all this off here and uh, see how it all fits up but anyway that's the state of play it's actually uh, in some respects a little sad to be removing this uh this table from here because i spent so much time rebuilding all this part that was originally given to me and making that damn table but it's never been a raging success uh, replacing it's hopefully going to be a good thing I had a bit of slop in the X in this for a little while and I was kind of wondering why, but there it is right there. 
bloody thing came loose. Anyway, get this off here and clean everything up. What a mess. Well, honestly, I'm not all that sure just how flat this surface is because uh, originally I welded these two big lumps of angle line in here. And considering uh, I was only ever bolted to here and not these outside edges, I'm not sure how, what it's like. Bit of a look, see. Not good. <laughs> it's low in the center, high on the outside edges, and it has to be bolted in about here somewhere. So I don't know what to do about that. I did see. Uh, I was watching a video the other week. An Aussie guy built a CNC, and when he mounted his uh, his post here, what he did was he lathered it with with a, an epoxy, some sort of epoxy, bolted it down, got it all level, had jacking screws in it so he could set it then just let the epoxy set so that he had a completely flat surface but uh, I don't know if I want to do that on here I might just have to uh, shim it where I've got to bolt it so it doesn't doesn't distort it when I bolt it down but anyway, so that's a cleaned up surface to try and fit that on, see how it goes alrighty, so uh, that's where it's got to sit I went out to my favourite scrapyard this morning looking for a piece of plate that I could uh, build this up maybe half to five eighths of an inch but they didn't have anything, which is a bit of a bummer. But anyway, I could possibly get away with you. This, there's two different size handles for this. This one here is a, uh, is, there's two, because this one's meant to have one either end. They're bigger than the front one, but if I use that, it just clears the bench and that's all, which will make it hard to hold the handle and, and crank it. But uh, the smaller one that's meant for the front, I won't get away with using that, so I probably don't have to pack it up. Uh, as far as this gap under here where I need to bolt it, uh, it touches pretty much all the way around on the outside. It's just where I've got to bolt it that's a bit of a worry. So I decided I'll get some of this, uh, it's a two-part epoxy. You mix it together, it sets as hard as a rock. I think I'll get it set where it's got to go and uh, drill the holes so I know where they are. And then uh, before I mount it back up again, mix some of this stuff up and set some around the hole so that there's a pad. So that, And then just, you know, clamp it up, do it up lightly so it's not, you know, super tight. And then leave it to set properly. Let it set overnight till it's rock hard. And then uh, tighten it up again the next day. So hopefully that'll stop it from you know pulling down and wanting to distort the damn thing after some clo a closer look at uh, where I've got to mount the Y um, DRO I think I might be able to get away with what I did over on the back down and underneath here so I'll be able to do it up on the bench instead of trying to do it down in here which is bloody ridiculous anyway so uh, I'll get on I've also got to uh, got to modify this and take that damn uh, lead screw out and modify it let the machine it down some more on this end and this handle won't fit on this end, so I'll have to turn it down a bit to uh, to get it to fit. Wait, all right, so I'll get on with all that. Alrighty, so uh, I've got a heap done since uh, my last spoke to you. Um, I'm a little. I want to apologise. I'm, I'm not showing a lot of what I'm doing because it's just lots of fiddly little bits and pieces which are not even worth recording. I don't think. Anyway, uh, I've got this. This will work out pretty well. I've got to make a new bracket to fit in here, and then some spaces to pull this out a bit and that should work fine then so I'll bring you back when I've got that all, all this made up and I'll show you what I've done there I also in the meantime I've sorted out all the power feed and I've got that, that ready to set up so I'm getting pretty close now to uh, to actually find trying to fit this thing to the mill well that's that done Luckily I wasn't videotaping it uh, while I was working on it, I would have had to bleep out a whole lot of uh, expletives to start with F and end in K <laughs> Grabbed this thing, pulled it over, and the bloody cord got around this thing, which had all my bolts and everything in it, and just scattered them all over the floor. I found some of it, but not all of it. And I had just enough of these little bolts here, these little button head cap screws, to do what I've got to do, and now I'm three short. But I've got to take daughter in town in about 15 minutes, so I'll stop at the bolt shop and get some more. 
But like I said, nearly there, now that that's done, I can uh, get on with figuring out uh, where all the bolts have got to go and drilling some holes and getting this thing bolted down. Alrighty, so before I go committing myself to bolting this down, I want to check and see, you know, just where it all sits and how true it will run. Now, I can push this all the way to the back against Hardy and the shoulder, and that's exactly what I've done here. And I just put a clamp on it and clamped it down. These two are bolted to uh, one, two, three blocks, or 25, 50, 75, they are, metric ones. They're clamped to the table. I uh, used a big square, this big square, to uh, square them up to the, to the edge of the table, front and back, to make sure they're the same. And I'll just clamped a uh, parallel on the side so I've got something smooth to run on them. And it looks pretty bloody good where it is, actually. Um, so I think... I can be relatively happy or sure that I can just plonk it down, push it hard up against the back and, and be sure that it's square to the column. So I'm going to get that off there now, get all this off, clean up one of these and we'll run it backwards and forwards and see whether it's sitting flat this way or not. And it would appear that we're in pretty good shape this way as well. Ooh. Off she goes. Oh, look at it go. Cable's got a whoop in it. Well, that's not much bloody chop, is it? Or is that just my shitty little Chineseium dial gauge? Yeah, there you go. This thing's got a bit of a bow in it. Oh, I might go out of it when I bolt it down. We'll see. Anyway, it is what it is. Alrighty, so uh, I've had a, I had a quick look at the bottom of the, uh, the mill. Made a little template for uh, this little pad on the bottom where it's where it bolts. I've made up a little template so I can clean all the paint off there. I'll mix some of this stuff up. I don't think I'll put any out here, but I'll put it inside here. In those areas. I just hope this shit doesn't go off too quick. Now I'm going to put a bit of masking tape over this stuff because I don't want it sticking to the bottom of the uh, table. I will also glue the damn thing down and never get it off again. I can't put it on too thick either, but I'll, I need it thick enough so that when I bolt it down, it'll squeeze it out. Just hoping this does the job. God. All right, that's going to have to do that. So I've got some small washers here, I'll, uh, I'll take it back off tomorrow to uh, get that masking tape out of there or I'll, um, I'll make up some little steel plates that uh, will cover these slots a bit better. They do have a funny looking T-bolt that comes with to bolt these down with, but they take a nut on the back and uh, there's not enough room in under there for the nut. that's it for today we'll uh, take that off tomorrow morning and see how it turned out alrighty it's a moment of truth see if this putty worked or not and uh, see whether I stuck this thing down or not this is a leftover bit from yesterday it's pretty hard right didn't stick it down no
Damn, that thing's heavy. It weighs about 30 kilograms. It's still a bit tacky on the outside. Uh, and I'm thinking what I might do is get the grinder out and grind these lumps off. Otherwise it could stop me from, you know, being able to move around if I have to. So, and just leave the thin pad bits here. But it looks like we might have had a win. So now I've, I've found this lump up on the shelf. I'll cut up, cut, I'll drill four holes in that, cut it into four bits and use them as a plate to uh, put inside to bolt it down with. Get on with that. Uh, at this point in the video I'd like to thank my patrons once again for their value support, especially the patron who stumped up the cash to pay for this. Uh, if you'd like to be a, become a patron, there's a link down in the description. You can join up there and toss me a couple of dollars every week because every little bit helps. If you don't wish to become a patron, there's always buy me a coffee. There's a QR code there on the screen you can scan now. Or if you don't want to do either of those things, you can uh, use that thanks button down there. Alrighty, so I made up these uh, these bits and put in there and bolted it all back down. I mentioned previously that I'd got all this sorted out. And uh, all I've done with that is... Uh, on there. Oh, is that stuck there? A bit of on these shafts, I think. Actually, what probably needs this one. It's got no hole in the back, so it's probably do with a little hole drilling the side, just let the air in and out of it a bit better. There you go. Yeah, I think that's just sucking on this one. What I did was I've used exactly the same thing. I've repositioned this back, back around there again, made some uh, new spaces up for in the back of it. I had to cut this one a bit shorter because uh, what I've done is used the two bolts that were holding this on, and they were only little short ones. They sat down, they were countersunk. I just re-drilled this so they go right through, holds both pieces on. But uh, I've got to put the uh, bolt back in it, yet this long bolt goes in here to stop it from pulling off all together so you can't pull it all the way off but it works that's interesting you're sliding in there really easy before there we go I'm not sure I think that I might have the table a little bit tight because it, that's flat out it used to go much faster than that on the other one I think maybe not was never that fast. Anyway, that's all uh, set up, ready to rock. Now you may be thinking I'm done, but I'm not because uh, I'm going to duck down the road. I'm going to buy a couple of big sheets of aluminium. It's going to cost me a small fortune and arm and a leg, and then all that big really. And I'm going to make up some new covers and shields for around here to stop it throwing shit everywhere. And I also want to make up a couple that out of that same aluminium sheet I'm going to buy some strips that will fit up in here so that these two cavities here don't fill it full of crap and I want a bit of a cover for just here because there's room under there for one so I'm nearly there thank god it's just it's hot again anyway on with it alrighty so uh, as you can see I've made up the new uh, splash guards or whatever you want to call them to uh, get rid of those silly bits of core flute I've been using for ages. These sides could have done with being a bit higher but those two sheets cost more than I want to pay for them. And I cut them at one and a half to uh, get two sides. But I made this up. Uh, it just slides up in there, chops down into the slot, keep the shit off the bearing and it. stop these two slots from filling up. This comes back over the top of it, no problems at all. Although the the, the nut for the for the lead screw eventually hits it when I get out to here. So if I really, really got desperate for some more out travel, I could uh, always cut a bit of a notch out of it, but I'd rather leave it the way it is at the moment because it keeps that lead screw covered up more often than not. So the only thing I've left to do now is uh, trim the head in. If you've enjoyed this video up to this point, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, give it a great big thumbs up. Alrighty, so I've spent the last hour Trying to tram this damn head in and I made the mistake of tramming it in X first and then came over to trim uh, the nod. Now I've just spent forever doing it and as you can see there that's over the back, it's zero or maybe you can see it's zero. 
in the front here and zero so we've got the nod right now so i'll have to check it out and see how we went with the uh, with the x i can't remember what you call that part of it it nod and whatever it is I, i've had to get out a couple of my big um, parallels because the surface of this thing's bloody awful i to run the run the dial gauge on the parallels and that is going to be miles out now i spent forever getting that to a zero and the same bring it back up to zero I'm really glad I put the uh, fine adjustment up on here a while back because it just makes adjust the trim of this head in the same way all right it's still in uh, still trimmed cool so I think we could call that done all right so uh, like I said if you've enjoyed this video I'd really like it if you gave it a big thumbs up it helps me a lot I think that's about it. Now we're done. I've got to put the uh, covers back on here. I don't need to bore you with that. In fact, I've got a new piece in the cover. I might put that on it. But anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching and sitting through this and, and apologise for the two-week delay, uh, even though, you know, there wasn't much I could do about that. But I'll have a video out again next week. I've got this little uh, job in mind and we'll be able to use this for the first time as well with a bit of luck. So, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.